set it just like this. Now, I don't want it sitting up that high. I want this inlet to be basically right above the hood line. So, I'll have to cut out a hole in the hood. This is not me asking you to subscribe to my channel, but if you could go out and hit that button underneath the video that starts with an S and ends with an E, I'd really appreciate it. I know a lot of these videos right now are me just building this motor, but once I get it together, I promise it's gonna be a lot more entertaining content. So if you guys should just help me grow the channel for now, and then later, I promise I'll make it up to you guys. So today we are going to put the motor in the engine compartment finally and start fitting up the turbos. I got me some 90s that are going to come off the... I got me some 90s and some V-band flanges and it's going to come off like that. But I'll show you guys more when I actually have it in the vehicle. So we're going to put that in there and see how good these 90s fit up and where the turbo is going to sit. And then after that, I plan on putting the 4L80E in the car as well. How good that thing fits in the trans tunnel and see if I can make a mount because I, I got a hold of Holly and they have 4L80E mounts and I ordered one in November and it is February now and it's still on back order. So I told them to just keep it and give me my money back and we're just going to build our own. I, thought, I talked to a guy that actually has a 4L80E in his first gen Camaro too, and all it is is he just fabricated up a pipe and it just went straight to the frame and it looks pretty nice. So that's what I'm gonna do and it saves me like 280 bucks. We're gonna get the engine on the cherry picker, lower that down in there, and then hopefully put that transmission up underneath of it and hopefully it all fits nice. This is what a 12 second car looks like. <laughs> All right, we got the motor sitting in there. We got some redneck engineering with the ratchet strap going around the fender and up to, I think, where my wiper motor was. That's what it said to do in the manual. Yeah, that's exactly what it told us to do. It seems pretty legit. So, got the 90s kind of positioned where they're supposed to be. Uh, I mentioned before, I'm going to cut these to where I can move them back and get the turbo sitting back in the engine bay a little bit more. And then this one all just match the other side, but we're going to raise it up now put the transmission in. So then the motor will be at the right angle that we're thinking. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to pull that dipstick out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got the transmission up. We started sliding it up on the motor and we got it up on one of the dowels and one of the dowels had some paint on it and we tried pulling it back down and then this trusty old transmission jack started just lowering down on its own. So I thought we were gonna drop the transmission, but it turned out we got it out so I got the paint off of the dowel here and we're gonna try to slide it back on there. And hopefully she fits with the transmission channel that way. I think we got pretty close to the right angle with the transmission and engine together. Uh, we got this sweet mount up here, more redneck engineering with a four x four and a ratchet strap. But we're gonna lower it down and check out those 90s up in the engine bay now to make sure those are positioned right so I can figure out the links and all that. And then I'll show you what those turbos are gonna look like in the engine bay. We got the motor and everything sitting where it needs to be. So I'm gonna set these turbos up here and, and show you guys how I want them to sit. <laughs> Whether that happens the way I want it or not, we'll see. All right guys, it is the next day. We had to do some rearranging and work on some other stuff, but we're back on it. I'm gonna put these turbos up. Well, I'm probably gonna be able to hold a one because I don't have the flanges welded or anything like that, which that is happening tomorrow, hopefully, if I can get all these situated the way I want. So anyway, I'm gonna grab one of those turbos and kind of show you where I'm gonna place them at least. So the idea that I want to do is, not that one. I wanna take, so this is the exhaust side, weld a two and a half inch V-band on that, obviously, and set it just like this. Now, I don't want it sitting up that high. I want this inlet to be basically right above the hood line. So, 
I'll have to cut out a hole in the hood. This on both sides, but a little bit lower, is basically exactly what I want. Um, as far as the exhaust, I think I'm going to have it come back through here, and then I want to come right through here and go out the front fender, like right in here. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. Uh, it's gonna take a lot of fabrication skills that I do not have, so that's gonna be someone else doing it. They are mirror image turbos for the, those of you who didn't see the last couple videos. But, so that is the plan for the turbo setup. Now for the wastegates, I want the wastegates to be right off the 90 there. So the first thing that happens with those exhaust gases is they go straight into the wastegate. Um, I know a lot of guys say that is the perfect way to do it. So then you don't have boost creep issues. Some guys do put them on the side like this, but the exhaust gases are not flowing directly into the wastegate. So I think that is what's causing boost creep issues. I'm not really sure. This is my first time doing this stuff. I'm still trying to figure it out, but you learn as you go. All right, guys, so I'm gonna take all these 90s off and I'm marking where I want because I want to have the flange welded all the way back on the bin here. These aren't even welded on yet. <laughs> so I'm gonna mark these up so I can take those to work tomorrow and get those welded up nice and then get my reducers welded on the end here and the flange on each end. But for now, I'm gonna pull this motor back out because I have to drill some holes in the oil pan and put these turbo oil drain bungs in each side. But anyway, I'm gonna pull this motor and transmission out now. I'm not gonna take you guys along with that because it's kind of boring stuff anyway, but I'm gonna have to drill all that stuff and get all the little things together. So this thing, I can put this motor back in, the transmission back in for the last time, start plumbing some oil lines and finish up all the small things. But I'm gonna finish the video off there. Um, I got a lot of work ahead of me, so I'll see you guys next week and you guys come back and see what I tear up. I'll see you later, guys.